Welcome back. Well, an American soldier has been detained in North Korea since last week after he crossed the demilitarized zone and the border between North and South Korea without authorization. Conversations now are underway in an effort to secure his release. ABC's Faith Abube has the latest. The first signs of potential progress in the urgent effort to free U.S. soldier Travis King from North Korean custody. After days of silence, the United Nations command says North Korea is now engaging in talks about King, who, according to the Pentagon, willfully ran across the heavily armed border between South and North Korea without authorization. The conversation uh, has commenced with the KPA through the mechanisms of the armistice agreement. Lieutenant General Andrew Harrison declining to provide any details surrounding the talks due to concerns about harming the sensitive discussions. The primary concern for us is Private King's welfare. The 23-year-old had just been released after 47 days in a South Korean detention facility for assault and was supposed to return to the U.S. to face more punishment. U.S. efforts to reach North Korean authorities to secure his release have been ignored. Congressman Michael McCall chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, telling ABC News that he's concerned that North Korea will demand concessions from the U.S. before releasing King. We see this with uh, Russia, China, Iran. When they take an American, particularly a soldier, captive, uh, they, they exact a price for that, and, and that's what I worry about. Meantime, tensions remain high between the U.S. and North Korea as the U.S. military shows support for South Korea. A U.S. nuclear-powered submarine arriving in South Korea today. It comes days after the USS Kentucky, a nuclear-capable ballistic submarine docked in the Korean Peninsula for the first time in 40 years, causing North Korea to threaten nuclear action. And as for King, U.S. officials still don't know where he's being held or his condition, but the U.N. Deputy Command says that he remains optimistic about the talks. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.